In a landmark development for St. Lucia's educational landscape, students will soon receive formal instruction in the island's traditional language when Creole instruction commences at the start of the new academic year. Executed under the St. Lucian Creole Curriculum Pilot Program, in September, teaching will commence at 14 primary schools and one private institution with grades K, 1 and 3 receiving two 30-minute lessons per week. This historic step marks the culmination of decades of advocacy and highlights a profound commitment to preserving and revitalizing St. Lucia's rich cultural heritage. According to Gianetti George, Education Officer in the Curriculum and Material Development Unit, CAMDU, the inclusion of Creole in St. Lucia's education system is a much-anticipated milestone for the island. While we will be beginning this program as a pilot, it will give us the opportunity for us to finesse, improve, and, and work, continue working on the development of our quail curriculum. It gives us this opportunity to safeguard our linguistic history, but it also gives us an opportunity for us to integrate our culture into our curriculum. So we are very ecstatic about that. We are very happy about that. At a recently held training and orientation session for educators, facilitators provided instruction on several pertinent areas, including the Creole writing system, grammar, difficult sounds, as well as lesson planning and assessment. Implementation will place focus on oral components while exploring nuances of the language. The formal writing system for St. Lucian Creole was developed some 43 years ago in 1981. The introduction of Creole instruction is expected to provide students with an additional tool for cognitive development, enhancing their language Bonsoir. capabilities and cultural literacy. Bon. According to workshop Bonsoir. facilitator Lindiane Alexander, the shift is hoped to assist youth in connecting with their community and heritage while engaging in traditional practices which are integral to St. Lucian culture. We have had to be patient. We have waited 43 years to have Creole be considered entering the schools. They've been using the Creole to reach the children, to explain to the children. So the Creole has been in the schools there with the teachers for a long time, but it has never been in a formal way. So now we stop going through the back door. We are coming in now with Creole into the schools through the front door. Creole kai go monsieur, actuellement. A shift in attitude toward the language, Alexander says, is one adjustment which supports the teaching of a Creole curriculum, as it is now understood learning Creole does not affect one's ability to learn English. Primary school teacher Zarella Filbert welcomes the change. Today, knowing that it is a pilot project that has been on stream and it will be implemented, this is one of the greatest things as St. Lucian, St. Lucians we need to be proud of. Queola y vivant. Et puis Jordia, nous, teacher, hors de l'école première, nous, ca faire des marches pour nous faire ça travail et puis un chai Jean Timamai Guamun il s'en succé parce que nous pas te savent il te kai fait comme ça mais Jodia c'est un bon jour The inclusion of Creole instruction in schools reflects a growing acknowledgement of the value of indigenous languages worldwide and underscores recognition by the Ministry of Education of the importance of integrating cultural elements into the learning process. As St. Lucia embraces this new era in education, the Creole curriculum stands as a symbol of progress, unity, and respect for the island's vibrant heritage. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation, and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium.